We all love the beautiful country Spain for its four-way civil war in Hoi 4. But for us Giga Chan William Dawn Matrix fighters out there, we don't have this wonderful feature in our games. At least not in Spain. But if we do go a bit south to Africa, there is indeed a country that graces us with a beautiful Spanish-styled four-way civil war. Um, actually, it's a three-way civil war. Shut the f- it's exactly like Spain, so it gave me the idea. Why not make the new Spanish Empire, except instead of Spain, it's the Ivory Coast. We're gonna take all of these old Spanish Empire colonies back as the, as the Ivory Coast. Three sieves? Bro, this is luxury. And we get a mill at the start. See, this is, this is the new Spanish Empire. This is where it lies now. Oh my god, look at that. That's a beautiful picture right there. They made this very fancy. They made the map mod more engaging. We made green at the start. No way, dude. This is actually a based country. Can someone tell me why this country is actually kind of like good? Oh, <laughs> we need more buildings. Hey, look at that one ship took down to 29. We're not going to be unemployed for that long, I don't think. Now we'll give you an office. Stop going homeless on the streets. It's not that hard. Uh, stampeding herd. I, I, these events again. Stampeding herd kills all my income crops. Now we're losing money because of cows stomping on crops. Ugh. I'm gonna lose my country to cows. Not even the communists are, st are stopping me. It's the cows. The cows are fucking commies. So, at the start of the game, Night Free Coast is a mixed bag. We do have one of the best economies in the entire Millennium Dawn Matrix, with more than zero factories and green money at the start. But that is all threatened by the impending civil war, where our beautiful forces will soon have to fight against the communist cows. Oh, hey. <laughs> that was faster than I was expecting. I don't know how when the AI Ivory Coast goes to war, there's like 20 to 40k amount on each side. Maybe it spawns... Okay, it does spawn divisions. There we go! Three-way civil war. Actually, let me pause this real quick, because I have to thumbnail this. What is the template we got? Okay, that's better than our main division. Okay, actually, you have decent shit. There's two fascist ones? <laughs> what the fuck? Nah, this is cursed. Oh, we have zero civs now? Oh my god. Dude. Yeah, actually, we have no ports. We're in the industrialized countryside hellhole. I see we're not the ones who are meant to win this. Despite that, we had a plan that would win the war. All we had to do was hire a mercenary, and we could use that as our spearhead into the in incompetent cow soldiers that my enemies possessed. D this is a dire situation. The three-way Spanish-style civil war. It's a very slow battle. This is going to be a painful war. Oh, my God. This is really parentheses S parentheses pain. And and now we have farmers that are gonna shoot each other. Please don't shoot each other. We we gotta stay united in time like this. This is a desperate situation for us all, man. Just just behave. They're not even gonna try to reinforce, are they? Damn. We're just gonna let that happen. This does honestly kind of feel like a Spanish Civil War right now. It's bad. <laughs> but don't worry, it might it will probably get worse. Just wait till I have to invade across the Atlantic Ocean. This is my training arc. This is before everything goes to shit. I'm not gonna bother defeating the people in the north. They're not protecting anything valuable. Let's just end these people and get this over with. And then we can surround the communisto nerds. You know, they own the cows from earlier. They trampled our crops and made 27 million billion people starve. I'm sorry, what? Why is... <laughs> Oh my god. It's because her oil's out, guys. We need the port back. The Dalai Lama returns to... Dude, this is funky stuff. Force can skip child soldiers. I do it, but the debuffs are a little too much for me right now. All right, there you go. Mega in circle. Look. Oh my. They are very angry about that. Chill. Oh my god. Go, go, go. Oof. All right, okay. Oh, wow. We are suddenly... All right, yeah, you're fucked. There we go, boys. We did it. We have united under the National Public Salvation Committee. <laughs> Where did these Civil War tags get these weapons from? I'll gladly take it. I just, I'm confused. Why, where did you get that? The war is over. Good stuff. Now we can move on. We can plan colonization of other lands far from here. Except there was one issue with that. The nation's military and Navy tech was drastically behind that of even the old Spanish Empire. Uh, we don't- we don't know artillery yet. <laughs> we know rocket launchers and man packs, but we don't know how to make gun that shoots big bullet. Oh uh, no, I'm so sad about that one. Womp womp. Okay, World War II weapon systems. Don't worry, soon we'll have our first ship and we'll be able to sail across the Atlantic Ocean. We will own the Americas. 
with my colonial fleet. The Ivorian Armada is coming alive, man. Oh, yeah, we do get new Imperialism. What am I doing? Oh, my God. I'm so stupid. You know, honestly, while I'm bored, I should just beat up one of these kids over here for fun. It'd be pretty funny. Like Ghana, or just any of these people. I should just beat somebody up, because I'm bored out of my mind right now. You want to bring back the Torek State, maybe? <laughs> Alright, guys, you know what? I am so bored. Let's go. Debility, minus 47%. Well, gosh, oh golly, thank you. I wanna, I'm going to beat up some kids today. Look at that supply. Oh, my God. Yeah. Do you really think you have a chance, buddy? Be honest. Let's see if you can even stop the six with nerd militia template. No, you can't. I don't even have to use the Merc company. Look, I mean, wait, look at capital wide open. Absolutely slaughtered, bro. In the slaughterhouse. You are so done. Oh, red box syndrome. <laughs> it's a good thing we killed every Malian citizen already. Bye-bye. I just blocked myself from returning home. Um, oh, hey. Guinea letting me come home. I, that was pretty pretty big blunder on my behalf i ain't gonna lie oh you have five sieves do you now oh buddy that might be a war justification that's a that's a free five sieves right there how are you demanding a bail already brother you just spawned three billion dollars is very high interest rate <laughs> oh my god look they have more supply and a recon tank battalion Hey, look who's done. I don't think this is gonna be a very hard war either, though. Like, watch. Yeah, watch your most viable possession. Oh! You're gonna try to save it today, huh? Yeah, when my one militia can pin that, just just give up, man. Say goodbye to basically every single division you own. And <laughs> the recon was the first to die. Shock to nobody. Get out of here, bub. Let me just walk up to Nukakok real quick. The war was over before it even began. Let's be real. Honestly, I'm surprised you didn't cap Okay, never mind. I thought you were gonna actually somehow not capitulate. We got a ton of sims right now. We got 10 working right now. Time's been passing pretty fast, I will admit. Mainly because I've been uh, committing war crimes. I wasn't going to invade really anybody here originally, but yeah, I got bored, so sorry. Apart from needing to be entertained by death, these wars helped me by boosting my industry up through war reparations. These civs would be handy for giving the Ivorian coast record profits and would help me acquire and grind down puppets further down the line. Fuck, I missed the 15th. God damn it. Well, RGT is being pretty based. They're not really trying to counter me that much. Look at that 5% chance, 1 in 20, that the coup works. Oh, hey, look. Our ship got done building, guys. Corvejo. We're also 8% in Canada right now. Big numbers. We're gonna get Canada done at the same time, and then probably 10 years or so, we'll get Mexico in the fold. And another one of these. You know what? No, I'm not getting involved. I'm sick of you coming to me for your fucking cows. Just talk it out. Have a nice civil discussion. See? Look at that. Was that hard? Just, like, use manners. Say, like, please. You don't have to shoot each other over every little thing. Leave the shooting part to me, brother. All right, you know, I have to say, we already have 60% with these. And look at that fascist support, by the way. The biggest ideology in the entire country. I have to say, I'm surprised. The woman power actually working pretty well at the moment. It, it's, they're doing good. I have to, I'm impressed. See, I'm just waiting for this number to go down by, like, a whopping 10, 15%. Though, so if it doesn't, you know, I, I wouldn't complain. All right, what would happen? The most lopsided civil war in history would happen. New month means new chant. Dude, are there even- is there even RNG? Because somehow every single time I've pressed that, it's a civil war. It just never changes. Even a failed coup would be nice to see. It would tell me the game is still working. You fucking bitch. The Matrix is attacking me. Once again, it's- it's here. The other countries are helping them stay independent. We- we should- And there we go, you're captured. Everything is falling apart. Oh my, killed. Oh my god. Uh, hey, look at these Bosnian people. Look how cool they are. Look, they're, they're, they're cool people, right? Don't you want to be one of them? Oh man, it's got to happen one of these times. It, it's got to happen one of these months. Mary, guys, maybe July is the month. Maybe shit happens in July. Although I probably shouldn't say that because it's liberate. It's uh, United States Independence Day, right? Could it be? Oh! Oh, oh my god! It's like an angel! <laughs> After about 10 safe scums, we finally had our first colony in the Americas. A revolutionary milestone for the new Spanish Empire. After this, we could finally speed up our progress and go to war all the way up the western side of South America. Starting with poor old Chile. Hey, let's go with Chile now. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong, no. No, I, I did what the country I live in always does. It's... 
It's good business. It's free. That's what you call liberation, guys. I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, look at that war go done. You asked for a boy? Yeah, there's nobody up here. It seems like the planner likes to put everything down south at first, so... I'm gonna be getting all of this land uncontested. First, Kota Ivory Province in South America. Yeah, I'm also noticing my divisions don't seem to be very strong against these uh, South American ones. Though I think I could fix it by just making my divisions a bit bigger, because these divisions are fairly decent sized from the looks of it. Look at that, we own Punta Area. We own everything. It's just, it's GG. Look at that blue also. I did forget you again. I'll let you live there. You know what? And George, Georgia declared war on Russia. Well, gosh, oh golly. We have to be careful about saying these some of these news events these days, man. They're getting too controversial in the news. I mean, like, what? What? Come on. Nine fully supplied divisions straight from the vineyard. Awesome. Man, look at all these factories. This is insanity. We are so stacked to the heavens with wealth. All right, Argentina, you're already an integrated puppet. You better be scared. And look, internet infrastructure. What are you doing, buddy? You're gonna get you're you're done. You're off the map. We're gonna rename you to the French version of Argentina I don't know what that would be. Maybe someone could comment below. You'd give me the third plus gen tank Sweet Jesus. I mean, this is just crazy. This doesn't sound like a very good artillery piece But I mean all of this is something look the tank this tank actually is pretty good. Anyway. Yeah, let's do this If it's not a blowout, I will jump out the window But as you can see it is a blowout and we're basically winning everywhere It's just not even it look even the French are here giving me why would you give me shit? You're so lucky I don't have an airport really in range of you. I would be shredding you apart right now. You don't want to lose that airport, do you? Oh, you're gonna lose it. You're gonna lose it. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. That's that's gonna be a big L right there. You got all that bombing damage. Oh, that's gonna be a big L. Oh my god, you're actually winning the battle. I am so impressed with you. Nice one, buddy. Good job. I also noticed, just noticed, you have a marine defending that. Why? Why would Bolivia have a marine attendant? That just, what in the world? Give me all your resources, too. Just be, just because you had a marine template in a landlocked country. All right, anyway. Boom! My first call in the annexed. Wow. And we get a navy. And we get a navy, dude. Absolutely good. And, oh, a first tank battalion. Don't mind if I do. Chile, you're not far behind. I would say your prayers. As we slowly annex these puppets in South America, the new Ivorian Spanish Empire would get stronger and stronger. The economy of the New World provided more than anything that could be found back home, giving the country a huge boost that others would just simply not be able to compete with. Wow, look at this horrible supply. All right, we're gonna fix this real quick, yeah? And hopefully I don't have to build a railway because those take fucking ages. hi hua! Another one goes down. And just like that, we're even bigger than we ever were. It's unbelievable. Uh, oh, ew! Why are there so many templates? Oh, that's not a bad template, actually. hi -ya. Hey, look, motorized has entered the field. Let's go. We are going in. Call allies. Oh, yeah, we're going. We are cruising. Naval patrol aircraft. You're putting fifth gens on the market? Are you nuts? Maybe you are, but I will take it. Give me that. I actually didn't think it would go this well, if I'm being honest. I mean, this is like the mountainous hellhole. I have not even micro, and we're just macroing this right now. I'm kind of being lazy. Last standing. No. So we just have to break through somewhere, but these mountains are just, all, just reinforce every 5 million seconds. Oh my god, thank god. Take as much land as you can. Like, just don't even stop moving. Alright, dude, the Ivory Coast Army is actually kind of kicking ass. This is good. Alright, we're going. We're gonna take that port. Huge. That's actually the capital. Wait a minute. That's the capital. And it's just right there. See, now they're starting to, like, hole up here. This is where it gets painful. Yeah, this is where the game begins to suck. We're accoring them in the mountainside here. Good, we're winning it. Oh, we took it. No, we did not yet. But we're going to. We probably will. I don't see us losing. Go, go, go. Let's go. Capital take it. Nice. Man, even with the red box engine, we're able to win these battles. This feels good. Kyodos is about to fall. Everything's just fallen here for them. It's all come crumbling down in front of their faces. Hey, look, you're one division. <laughs> and look, two more motorized. All right, good, good, thankfully. Hey, cute Colombia. Ooh, that's gonna be a tough battle. You know, let's, oh, Mexico checkup, Mexico checkup. How you doing? Buddy, you got trade divisions. Let's do this. Let's actually invest in you internationally. Let's get you like stronger because you need you need to power up juice. Okay, so there's no there's no. F oh my god, why is everyone democratic around here? I'm looking for people who aren't democratic so I can maybe invade them while they're not democratic. 375 days. Why? Why is it so long, dude? What's the chances of coon in Canada in the meantime? Only 22%. 82%. If they were fascist, I could have puppeted them. 
We'll give them an election. I doubt they'll go fascist, but you never know these days. I'm not sure how, but the fascists won that election. So you know what? We'll take that to the bank. The the Cota Ivorian Spanish Empire grows bigger. It has acquired new lands not even the old Spain could acquire. <laughs> Italy. No, not Pope Francis. Oh, no. I do. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Don't, 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 not like this, man. You're gonna act up like that? Let's just get the whole fucking group here. Why not? Get the whole group in it. Chop, chop, motherfuckers. We got business. Now, luckily, you're an idiot, and you didn't realize that uh, your Merc was on the uh, complete opposite side of uh, all your victory points. So that tends to be what happens when you, you're an idiot and do that. Oh... Oh my god, let's just quickly move this this thing out of the way. Yeah, can't, you can't say that just gets you turned on like a motherfucker. Social spending minus 25%. That's a deal, my friend. Let's just start investing in Mexico again. Let's get you built up. Look, I'm getting you ready right now. So what I think you should do is stop like capturing my spies. Because I mean, they're just doing good work. They're just spreading the message that uh we're, we're going to be getting, making you great again, Mexico. We're going to be making you awesome. Oh, hey, just in case Ecuador. I got better things to do right now, actually. So I'll see you later. I got better things to do. I got better things to do. Declare war. Stop. I keep missing the button. There we go. Look, you, you can't you can't hold me. Who do you think you are? Look, I mean, what are you going to do? Yeah, this honestly wasn't that bad considering it's Ecuador. Look, I'm getting more confidence as it goes because we're actually winning these battles pretty decisively. Oh god, Colombia, look at your supply. Red box syndrome on the whole eastern front. I don't have that because I'm- I- look at that, supply hub. Yeah, guess what? I built that myself. I used my own- my own hands, my own hard labor, and I built that, man. You wish you had, like, such novel hands. But you don't. People don't love your hands. People love my hands. Well, look at this Polish modified AK. What's that thing in the bottom there? Is that like shooting laser beams out of it? Let's declare the war. Boom, 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 boom. All right, we should be able to win pretty decisively, right? Yes. Everything is in the green. Never mind. Everything is not in the green. It is getting sketchy, though. There's a lot of people I'm trying to go around right now. I didn't think it was going to be that uh, terribly supplied. There's actually like nothing here. Where's the nearest one? It's literally the capital. No way, we're gonna have to fucking... Oh my god. Well, let them beat themselves up against me. Maybe we can drain them with some of their equipment. I can't see them being that stacked up and rich. Good luck breaking me. Look, I, I, I got the bombing damage. Now, part the one I'm worried about... Okay, you got 180 days. You got 180 days, hopefully, to come back from what's happened here. Costly, these wars. Just let them have that province. It's fine. Let them gain their two inches of land. How much did it cost them in the end? The casualties are running high in some of these battles. They've lost 100,000 the entire war. I mean, it's not good for them. Most of it's not... Nine, nine threes. Jesus Christ. Maybe that's why I'm not doing as good against them as I thought I would. Their divisions are bigger than ours. Oh, so yeah, and by the way, now... Yeah. Oh, they're both Aegis Slight units. Oh, where'd you get these? I'm, I'm, I'm taking those. Would you like to tell me how you got two of those when I, I can never fucking get two? I can hardly get one sometimes? Are you using cheat software in my Money Dawn A to Z video? Colombia was really testing the military might of my new Spanish Empire here. We were pitted and even pushed back some, but I finally managed to build a supply hub in the east giving us a chance to finally push we had to prove ourselves now more than ever that our army was a true fighting force that could actually conquer our lost lands oh my god they have organization again easy dude not even not even close all right we caught one division it's not really a great catch but it's something i guess let's commence the offensive this has got to be it this is when we win yes oh my god we actually might have them go Get in there. Oh my god, they made it. That is a four division encirclement. Biggest of the entire career. Let's finish on encirclement. Look at all of them in the capital. Dude, go fuck off. No, just put all the planes. Let's go crazy. Put all the planes here. We actually can now because we've shrank the front line so much. There's actually 350k men in this fucking corner. We're gonna have to somehow beat them out of here. I'm thinking this province right here, there's only seven divisions in it at the current moment. We obviously have a lot more surrounding it, so. Boom, boom. Look at that cast. Dude, planes are a lifesaver. It's so good to have planes, I have to say. Capital was in danger of falling to them. Oh, we took the capital. Dude, Columbia's falling apart. They can't hold off the onslaught. The machine somehow are cracking the mountains wide open. Maybe we can surround them and take the victory points in time so we don't have to actually slaughter everything. Good job, my fellow forces. Good shit. No way we let them get in there with all those divisions, dude. That's so stupid. Like having to suffocate them. Oh my god, god, thank god. 
I'm so glad. You don't even know, dude. Ah, oh, man, dude, that's so unfortunate. That sucks, dude. We'll have to get over it, won't we? Sadly, our war with Venezuela was delayed, but Colombia was still a smashing success. Despite all odds, we managed to push them out of the mountains to their dooms, proving that our army is a dangerous one. This war was a crucial turning point that would soon lead the Ivorian Spanish Empire to be one of the greatest powers the world had ever seen. Oh, we've been bargained by the old empire buddy i'm literally recreating you you should feel honored i'm literally celebrating you and this is what you treat me with you treat me with an embargo you suck dick no we embargoed again stop embargoing me oh my stop 100 percent yet the coup won't work wait oh my god just let them do that they're training men now if you saw that that was they got like 300,000 now. They're finally waking up. I am actually the fucking trouble in this world. If it weren't for me, this world would actually be peaceful. Even our world's got more action than this. Like, what, what are you doing? Now they are doing their last stand order. You shouldn't attack me, but this is what happens when you're a goofy goober. You suck. The oil is mine. Ah, 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 ah. Come here, boy. That's actually really sad. Dude, that was a good general and a town civil war. What's new? Here we go. Now Venezuela's dying. We just got too much air support, really. That's the problem, though. When we get to Big Daddy USA, this this won't be a thing. What will we do then? I have no idea. Hey, Netherlands, how you doing, boy? <laughs> I, w I won't touch them this game. They're safe. They're not the Spanish Empire, after all. They're the Dutch. All right, there you go. That wasn't that difficult, guys, was it? And, then, and as soon as I hear you, you immediately ask for an idea. You know, fine. And then, bye, Colombia. Oh, this is a beautiful empire. I've never, like, look how beautiful that is. Like, come on. I mean, this was one thing, but this right here, just, oh my God. I truly do feel like Spain right now. Yes, guys, Mexico's trading divisions. Walk in. We're going to be at Washington, D.C. in no time. Now, the other crazy thing, if you look at it, we're only 30 factories below the USA. As the Ivory Coast, let me remind you. Oh, hi, Turkey. Why, why would you do that? No. Wait a minute. You're still here? Oh, hell no, you ain't. Saddam Hussein's empire grows. Why are you so angry? <laughs> Does anyone know the context of that photo? We'll stop influencing you. Let's let's puppet you now. Hey, he kind of looks like Fr old Franco, doesn't he? We had secured all of South America as well as the Mexican Francisco Franco into our fold. Now, we need to reunite the rest of Central America so we could have a land bridge to Mexico. We started to reclaim lost colonies from the USA, and this land bridge would make it nearly impossible for them to blockade supplies being shipped to the army. All right, Mexico, we're gonna go in on this guy. We're gonna smoke him. Oh my god, high literacy rates, finally! We're an educated society! Yes, sir. Nobody's guaranteeing them, let's go to war. How much money are you gonna lose to keep to keep this province? Be honest. Only 200. You know, you're not you're actually not losing that many. You might get out of this relatively unharmed compared to the rest of the people we fought. Colombia got baked. They got cooked. Bye. Oh, you're gonna lose a few divisions. Just just to rub it in, we make you lose a few divisions. Oh my god, guys, I ascended to major power. In fact, our percentage right there, 2.7, is higher than the USA's 2.6. Does this mean? The Ivory Coast is stronger than the United States. It ain't really the power it once was, guys. I mean, soon. Look at that. It's a regional power now. It's a regional power. The USA is not even a major power anymore. It's regional. Nobody over here even cares about them anymore. All right. Hopefully this works. I literally have max influence in them, and you're going to do this. We're going to try to justify on uh, Nicaragua. It's still democratic, which we hate. I'm going to be here till like 2025, most likely. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, 45% chance it won't happen. <laughs> All right, come on. Don't, don't, dude. Did it work? Finally. What a fucking relief. You made that way more painful than it should have been. You're gonna pay for that. The Suez is blocked. We've played so long, the fucking Evergreen ship came into existence. I have the Panama Canal, and we don't get a jam like those nerdy Egyptians do. We keep it nice and clean. Nigeria financial crisis. Uh, uh... Do you even know how to manage your fucking money, you piece of shit? Now look, I'm suffering because of you, you cocksucker. Stable growth and you're having financial collapses? What are you doing? What's going on here? All right, finally. Let's go. Declare war. The only Honduras is attacking right now, but wait. Once I join, watch what happens. When I join, ooh, war suddenly takes a drastic turn for the worst and the poor in the south is empty they're gonna get circled right away oh my god 
Oh, God, Nicaragua going down. It's just too much. Oh, my God. The death and chaos. Oh, my God. They're cornered. Oh, it's just too far. And the Panzer Battalion goes in on Managua. Oh, my God. What a coup de grace. Oh, absolutely nuts. Then Costa Rica. Well, you better obey orders. You better accept the coup here soon. All right, come on. Coup's got to work. Please. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Are you fucking shitting me? Let's do it this time. Nope. No, honestly, I, I should just invade them at this point because this is just getting old. Hey, you know what? You know, no, 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 no. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Nobody's going to guarantee you. And we're going to have a good day. Boom. Another annex. All right. We can finally fight these guys. This might be the scariest war of them all, honestly. For the fact that uh, we're fighting ghosts, as you can see there. So we're gonna, we might get the booze. We might get the chills. But I think we'll probably come out on top on this one. Hold on. Ah! Get absolutely fucked. Up to now, the Ivory Coast had done what the old Spain could have only ever dreamed of. Our people fought off communist cows many years ago, made the first homes in Argentina, and expanded all the way up to Mexico. Now, there was one test left for Ivory's great children. The once great United States was in steep decline, and the new colonial empire in town demanded that its old colonies of Western United States be returned. The USA obviously wouldn't accept such a demand, and the ground was set for the most brutal war in American history. Yeah, we're just fighting the United States. They're not gonna board Mexico because they just don't do that for some reason. I don't know if the AI like bans itself and do it, but as you can see, they're just gonna stack up everybody here on uh, Canada right now. We don't care about that. We have the, this is our main infantry. We got 10 threes here, 41 width. A little bigger than I usually make that. I usually make six threes. That may be why I died to like these major powers. So I made a slightly bigger template here. We have enough generation of energy. We can actually power on over our buildings in this country we're a modern society bro we are the forefront of society in this world this is nuts how does the enemy even win at this point i don't think they do i think this is just easy win for us all right it's done guys are we ready i'm ready we might actually be able to win this one so let's just stop uh making the situation tense let's just fucking do it yeah send these guys run into houston let's get them get them as far into the country as you can yeah look at it nobody's even around uh, guys apparently there's a naval invasion why you like this um hopefully mexico can take care of that i don't really want to to be honest they're doing that but look at like everything's just wide open right now what what is this all right los angeles is going down already okay we're starting to come across some divisions out here in the eastern side they are few and far between so let's see if we can get some cheesy encirclements good that division's down that's a good encirclement right there this actually is going better than i thought i thought they'd have more on me by now but they don't i don't know where they all are probably naval invading central america <laughs> Why are you doing this? Just, what is this for? Oh, you're defeating them way faster than I thought you would. What the fuck? Was it really this easy to come back into the United States? Did I really just have to make my divisions bigger? Was that really all I had to do? Imagine that's the reason I, I was sucking this entire time, because my divisions were, like, too small. What an eye-opener. I could have been, like, dominating World Conquesting this whole time. I think I had my Eureka moment, you know? My, my Eureka moment, guys. <laughs> Guys, I'm actually so happy about this. We finally found a way to win the game. Might be one of the craziest games of William Dawn in history. This is unbelievable. Mean being good at the game, question mark? Yeah, those are probably the modern Abrams tanks. And <laughs> oh my god, they're decking us. All right, another tank division captured. Jesus, these things are nasty. Atlanta's wide open. Let's go. Can they hold out? No, they cannot. Atlanta is being incursioned on. Oh! The encirclement was not completed somehow. I don't know. We could get a massive encirclement on the entire eastern country here, the seaboard. We probably should catch up before we, like, lose divisions to overspreading, and then we fucking choke the war last second. All right, they ceded Florida to us. We have the only alligator state. Let's go. We're getting closer to the heartland, the capital, where it all began for this country. It will mostly be where it all ends. We're about to take the Confederate capital, Richmond. Richmond Falls, the Confederate Weeboos are crying in the chat right now. Oh my goodness. What do you have to say about this, Bob? Oh, I have to say it's quite a it's quite a dramatic scene at the Capitol right now. I know, right, Bob? It's it's so crazy. Look at all these kids encircled in the West as well. We should actually try to take Seattle. If we do if we take Seattle, that, they're actually encircled out here. And <laughs> you can just like start choking them. The invasion had been a shocking success for the new colonial superpower. The United States was on the run, being smashed on every single front. And now, a surprise guest would join in on the SmackDown Thunderdome of Doom. Russia joins the fight. They see weakness 
and the bald eagle. Oh my gosh, Seattle wide open, by the way. Let's go. It's getting dramatic right here. They're pulling out. It's, it's getting contested. It might fall any minute. Have you ever seen anything like it in history? If they lose Seattle, they're all encircled. Oh my god, they're gonna go down. Ooh, they have no supply here anymore. They're all suffocating. What are they gonna do? Oh my god, Arlington wide open. The Pentagon. The Pentagon is gonna go down. Oh my god. The Pentagon falls. DC exposed. What is happening right now? We don't know. They're pulling out of DC. They're giving it up. What are they doing? What are they doing? It goes down. Holy shit. A disaster for the free world. Hagerstown being sieged. Baltimore fled from. They're giving up the entire Maryland Metro. What are they doing? Holy. Baltimore falls down. Maryland and Washington goes down. The east side of Maryland and the United States goes down. It's over. That was actually a brutal ass war, man. Sadly, everything's too expensive. This is gonna be the peace deal. Apparently, Canada gets the South. And whatever this is, I don't know what this is supposed to be, but you know what? There you go. 64K GDP per capita, 27 billion. That basically is 27 trillion made a year. What a beautiful empire. All right, guys. Now we got Mexico annexed. Isn't that just beautiful now? We got this beautiful. Oh, we're not done yet, though. There's one more war. Wait, you're nobody, huh? You're a nobody. You're gonna do nothing. You're so dead. You're, you're already lost your, half your country in one single day. What are you doing? What are you doing? Just, just kill yourself. What, what is the whole point of this, buddy? You thought you were gonna stand against me? You are such a nerd. You are actually the biggest fucking nerd in the entire planet. There you go. Bye-bye. And well, there you go, guys. That right there is how you play the Ivory Coast. You don't even touch Africa at all. You keep your normal borders. And instead of going to colonial spree. Well, not quite. Paraguay and Uruguay, I guess they're the two lucky guys that get to live today. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, bye.